Oftentimes, we get a lot of questions about bankruptcy. And I know that at the Owner Finance Network, we've touched base on bankruptcy before. But briefly, sometimes when we have done a wraparound mortgage, our borrower files bankruptcy. Now, the smart thing to try to do is stay in open communication with your borrower to maybe try and preclude bankruptcy. Maybe you're able to work out an arrangement so that they can work out some payments where they don't think they are forced into a corner. And again, communication can help solve a lot of problems, but not always. So if your borrower did file bankruptcy, understand that there's gonna be about a 60-day lag time before any payments are made. What is really frustrating is, is the consumer bankruptcy lawyers, they wait until the day before your foreclosure to file bankruptcy the very last minute. Not always, but most of the time. So if you get hit with bankruptcy, understand you need to make sure you file a proof of claim and you'll be a secured creditor because you hold the mortgage on the property. Within 60 days, typically, your borrower has to start making a mortgage payment. Now, in today's bankruptcy world, they're probably going to pay the trustee direct. Now, in this interim time frame, they also have to file financial statements with the bankruptcy court. And you can go and obtain those records for your files in case you need to review anything to determine what you may or may not want to do if your borrower moving forward. So make sure you file the proof of claim to be on record. They should already know you're there, but that's one of the legal requirements in bankruptcy. And then watch for that payment coming in. Typically the borrower, as I said, is gonna pay the, the trustee uh, after about 60 days. And that trustee might take up to 30 days to get you that mortgage payment. If the borrower is complying with everything, they're paying the trustee fees and paying you, then they can stay in bankruptcy, usually under a chapter 13, which is reorganization. Every once in a while though, they may convert to a chapter seven, which is complete liquidation. Now, if you're in a chapter 13 reorganization and they're making their payments timely, any arrears you might have will be put into a promissory note and paid out over four or five years at a fairly low interest rate of 5% or so right now. That could change based on the marketplace as well from time to time. So over time, you will get all of your money and that borrower is given an opportunity to re reorganize. On the other hand, if the borrower is not complying with bankruptcy, the trustee could kick them out. Or if they stop making payments, you have the right to file a motion to lift stay, which gives you permission to move forward with a foreclosure. So there are some games though that borrowers and consumer bankruptcies play. You may have a husband and wife that own a house and only the husband files for bankruptcy. It's a delay tactic sometime where they may or may not file records with the court and eventually they are thrown out in let's say 60 days or so. You turn around, you repost the property for foreclosure and the day before, the wife files bankruptcy. Unfortunately, that can happen, and it does happen. So you've got to be prepared for that and understand it. Again, the same rules and regulations apply where they have to be paying the trustee, file their financial records, and do things that are mandated by the bankruptcy court. Now, if the wife is thrown out of bankruptcy, something they try to do down the road is they both try to file. And that's when you need to make sure you have a good bankruptcy attorney on your side to file that immediate motion to lift stay to stop that. And you will be granted a motion to lift stay and allowed to move forward with foreclosure. Now, once that motion to lift stay has been granted, don't cut a new deal with your borrower. Get them out of the property. Don't sign a lease with them, maybe, because they'll ask all types of questions. Because if that six month period runs where the court denies them from filing bankruptcy again, on day six months and one day, could they file again? They could. And it's happened to us in our businesses along the way. So be smart, understand what the rules and regulations are of bankruptcy within a certain uh, segment of the, the laws. 
talk with a knowledgeable bankruptcy attorney, get a good feel for it so that it does happen to you, you know how to properly navigate it to your advantage. So guys, if you like this video, take a moment, like us below. And if you want more information about creative finance and how to navigate things properly, check us out at theownerfinancenetwork.com and we'll see you guys next time.